So now we know how to add our own data sets. Now we know how to draw our own um, SVG icons in Adobe Illustrator. Let's piece this together and show us, let's look at how we can link our icons to our data sets. So here we are in the Bemidji thing I've been playing with. And I'm going to go add a data set. And I'm going to go add something called place label. Now notice these little icons. The fact that it's an upside down teardrop means it's point data. So that's perfect for an icon. So I add place label and here we have type. We can have fill. It's not going to be a fill. It's not going to be a line. Circle makes sense. The default for a place is a circle, but I'm going to select symbol because I want this to um, show up as a symbol that we're going to pick. And let's set the source visible starting at scale. I don't know. Let's say, yeah, that's good. 6.4. All right, let's hit create layer. We don't see anything. And the reason we don't see anything is we haven't selected a circle. And we also haven't given it a, a, an icon. So the default here is you'll see these tabs, text, icon, position, placement. Let's start with icon. We want our city dots to show up. So we'll click on this image thing. And here we can upload SVGs that we've created in Illustrator. Mm -hmm. I'll do bow ties one, for example. And you see there's a new bow tie. So that works. Um, and here we can pick an icon to use. I'm going to use smiley face just because I like it. So uh, smiley face icon, and we see all these cities are popping up now with their icon. Perfect. So let's click out of there. We can change the opacity if we like. Probably not smart with a point symbol, but it's something you could play around with. One thing I want to show you is size. If you don't like the size of your symbols, you can jack it up a little big. Mm, not my favorite, so we'll stick with one. But let's say that you know one's a good size for this zoom level. But when we zoom in a little bit further on the Twin Cities, we see more cities pop up because of generalization. But one thing I'm noticing is these start to get a little bit lost. If we wanted to make it really quirky and surreal, we could make these a little bit bigger with different zoom levels. How do we do that? Well, wherever you see one of these um, enable functions, there's normally some goodies hidden behind it that you should experiment with. So let's click here, enable zoom function. This means that we will allow it to change property as it's zoomed in. So um, let's go here. We're going to keep this to size one until we get to zoom level 16, at which point we'll go to size three. And then we can add another stop. Um, okay, we'll make it 15 just for simplicity's sake. And at size 20, we'll make this size seven. And up here, it shows you what zoom scale you're at right now. So we have to zoom in a bit further to get these big Tulubi doobies. But at this point, it jumps to size 7. And you can see a little spark line here showing you how it works. That's how you play with icons. This is how you add icons to your data. We could do um, another one here. Let's just quickly do this. And I might zoom this so my voice might get high pitched here. I apologize. Um, let's do airports, symbols, I don't want to show these until we get maybe around 10, hit create layer, because I picked symbol, we can go in here, we'll pick that symbol, size 3, just to make it pop out, and let's look for some airports. There should be an airport somewhere around here. There it is, the Minneapolis airport. Now that's the St. Paul, here's the Minneapolis airport. So of course you'd probably want to use a plane symbol for that, but I, I didn't here. We also might want to label our icons, right? To do that, pretty easy. We click on text up here, click in here, and name of local airport, we'll select that. Boom. So we have Flying Cloud Airport, etc. The color of the text, you can associate it. Text, the font style, a big um, change it to Miss. Yeah, that, that's pretty funky. 
that's a horrible font but if you're doing a style like this it might just work there you go and you can change the size 24 you can do everything in here I'm not trying to bore you um, you can change it to all small small etc and one thing you might want to play with and I think it's really important is the halo so often you're going to need a halo so that you can actually read your text on top of the map and also the size you might want to enable zoom function so that it gets much bigger the um, further in you get there we go so these are just some features and ways you can play around with it you can position the label so that it's not over your airport you can offset the label um, 0.5 m's tends to be a pretty good distance so notice how it's being offset all of this stuff you can do um, so easily now in, in here and I really encourage you to play around